Hello YouTube friends, this is Tracy and welcome to See Our RV. Today I have some questions for you. Do you have an anode? Do you need an anode? And have you checked your anode lately? I'm going to answer all those questions here in just a minute and I'm going to share the experience of what happens when you don't check it. Okay, let's start out talking a little bit about what an anode is. An anode is a rod that goes into the drain spout on your water heater. Uh, what it does is it allows the chemicals and the uh, minerals in your water to attack it and it disintegrates rather than allowing the chemicals and the minerals to attack the interior lining of your water heater. Now, not all water heaters are, have to have an anode. Um, all suburban water heaters, I believe, do are required to have one. But Atwood, at some point, and I'm not sure exactly what the date was or when this happened, Atwood says that it's not necessary to have it in the ones that have an aluminum lining on the inside of the water heaters. So, I'm, I do have an Atwood, but I'm not sure which one I have or if it's the one that doesn't require it. So, I figured to be better safe than sorry to go ahead and use the anode rod. Um, so, I have purchased two of them, actually. One still in the package here. This part right here is the part that gets the water and you will, this will just actually just disappear over time. And there won't be anything left of it. Now, how do I know this? Um, you really need to check it about every year. Um, we replaced our anode rod when we purchased our RV. It had one in it. And, um, so we, we, we replaced it at that point, but we weren't living in it full time. Last May, I suggested to Brett that we check the anode, and he convinced me that it wasn't necessary to check it, so we didn't. And, well, last night, actually, not last night, 12.45 a.m. Thursday morning, we had a problem because of the anode being completely disintegrated. Um, the, there was a leak from the hot water heater when Brett came in and he noticed it and he reached over there to see if he could tighten the bolt and it basically just came right off in his hand. It was so badly damaged from not being checked and not being replaced. So, for a few minutes, we were completely without water until I reminded Brett that you could bypass the water heater and if you, if I, I, I got under the cabinet in the kitchen and found where you can turn the valves and bypass the water heater and so we did that. So, we do have cold water in the RV, we just don't have any hot water. So, I have dishes backing up. We haven't taken a shower in the RV. We do have a backup for the shower, though, and I will show you that later. But right now, um, let's uh, flush out this water heater tank and get ready for the new anode to go in. This is the one that I've prepared. It's um, got the Teflon tape around the threads at the end so that we'll get a good seal when we put it in. Uh, and I'll show you the the drain spout on mine. I imagine yours is probably pretty similar. And we'll get started working on the RV. We'll see you in just a minute. Okay, we have already got some buildup coming out of it. So we're going to stick this back up in there. We've got the 
kink out of the line now. And there we go. Try not to get myself completely wet since it is winter time here. I'm going to pitch y'all down while I do this and uh, I'll show you what we get out of it. Okay, I don't know if you can see it or not. We didn't get a whole lot out of there. So apparently the anode was doing its job. Um, there is just a tiny bit of white down there you can see that washed out. Of course, a lot of it washed out all over the ground and a lot of it washed out all over me. I feel like I've had a shower now. Um, so, Brett has asked me not to insert the anode. He's afraid of stripping the screws out and he, if he want, if, if that happens, he wants it to be him to blame and not me, which that's fine by me. So, I'm going to wait and uh, let him actually insert the new anode and uh, we will have hot water as soon as he gets home from work. I'm so happy. In the meantime, I will show you what our uh, shower facilities look like. I tried to uh, film this a little earlier, but the battery died on my phone. So I didn't quite finish it. So we're gonna walk back over here now that I've got a little bit of charge on here and show you my shower, my alternate shower. This is my office, or this is the building that my office is in. And let's make that alarm go off. And here we are. My camera adjusts to the light in our tile and flooring showroom. It's uh, got all our flooring samples and our cabinetry samples that we sell. We sell granite too. There's some of the cabinet displays. That sink there is not actually functional. I think it's a very pretty room. It's got lots of stuff. That door over there goes out into the warehouse. That's an office right there. And this is the bathroom. And there we have the beautiful sink and that farmhouse faucet. I think that is just gorgeous. And if you want to buy a color vessel sink, it is on closeout for $199. And here is the shower. It's a big tile shower. It's got the pebbles on the floor, the and it's made into the grout. It's supposed to give your feet a massage as you shower. It's all the newest rave around town now nowadays. So that is my alternate bathroom when I don't have hot water in my RV. So as soon as Brett gets home, I'm hoping that I will have water again. And we will see you next time on C Hour RV. Y'all have a good night.